Hello, it's Tanya Gabrielle, Wealth Astronomologist. Welcome to your weekly astronomology forecast for December 17th to the 23rd, where the main themes are a focus on success and excitement, receiving good news, and lots of surprises. So it's a fun week, a very active week. Let's look at the highlights for this week. On Monday the 17th, we have the Code of Immortality activated and is merged with the Architect of Peace number 22 today. So this activates the 4 and 8 Code of Destiny and Fate. So you may feel something in your life that reminds you of, oh my gosh, this event is reminding me of this certain cycle in my life or person or kind of people in my life that, that um, you know, are a pattern. So Pay attention to that today and definitely plan ahead with confidence because this code of four and eight gives you serenity and peace of mind if you use it to implement and strategize. So work hard, step into leadership, and that'll help you feel confident and grounded. Now in the stars, we have Mars in Pisces, sextile Pluto in Capricorn, which gives you so much energy. This code, the 17th, is also so filled with energy. The number 17 reduces to eight, which is, you know, it's the eternal energy uh, infinity spiral. So Mars in Pisces, uh, sextile Pluto in Capricorn, this is just great for success when you combine it with the numerology code. Uh, your ability to work enhances your career in some way. You have the endurance to stick with it and direct your passion towards a goal. You have the determination to succeed and you just feel very magnetic today. Friday the 21st is the next big highlight. Lots going on this day. This date adds up to 17. So again, we have that number of immortality. So you want to approach this day with a lot of fun and creativity, sort of a lightness of being, and that instills lots of confidence. It's a powerful combination of integrity and courage today. Now, Venus in Scorpio trines Neptune in Pisces, which is so romantic. I love this transit because it allows you to feel creative and artistic and imaginative and, you know, daydreams sort of take you to this place of surreal, you know, creativity and imagination and your love life gets a surge of positive energy flow as well. So this very sweet, tender, warm energy, very beautiful and great for spiritual connections with your partner. Mercury conjuncts Jupiter in Sagittarius. Now that brings good news. It again enhances your imagination. It allows you to feel optimistic and enthusiastic. And also today, the most important part is the sun enters Capricorn, which brings the winter solstice above the equator and the summer solstice below the equator. So this is always a very powerful time. It invites you to be self-sufficient, self-determined. Capricorn is all about being silent, being in solitude, help you get balanced and grounded and having the patience and self-discipline to expand your life in a very proactive way. So use this time to be very practical in, in furthering your career goals and you also want to guard against not showing your feelings. Capricorn is very reserved, so you don't want to be unexpressive when the sun is in Capricorn. Now, the last big highlight is the full moon in Cancer on the 22nd of December. This is the second full moon at zero degrees. There are five full moons consecutively at zero degrees. The first was in November. Now we have the one in December. Um, this is the final lunation of the year, so it's very important. And the consecutive zero degrees full moon means that there's a major shift. There's an overhaul happening in your life. It's going to bring a lot of excitement and happy surprises in this case because of Sagittarius. There's some positive change happening for you. You can shift from frustration or anger very quickly into a sense of peace with this full moon. The sun is trying Uranus, the moon sextile Uranus, they form this gorgeous triangle, and it's a fabulous invitation to follow your instinct, to take risks. It's very stimulating, very energizing. It opens up your inner genius, that's what Uranus does. It really is an opportunity for you to change the dynamic of 
sort of any unevolved energy in you and and open up to the sacred, open-hearted, inspired, healing energy that is there around you at all times, right? Now, to get the whole full moon forecast, you definitely want to go to my blog on my website because I always create a long video and article to accompany every lunation. And it is the final one of the year, so you definitely want to tune in to how it's going to bridge 2018 and 2019 for you. And also, to learn more about your own birth code, definitely head over to this free masterclass where I teach you about your life purpose, your destiny, your star code, what happens at the moment of your, your birth, and you know how your cycles just get triggered at the moment of your birth and take you to the present and future. This is a wonderful, fun, 90-minute free webinar that you can watch instantly when you click on this link and register for it you really want to take this opportunity to delve deeper into your own star code. Now, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week. I know it's a busy time for everyone, so try to stay calm and balanced. And I'll see you in next week's Astrology Forecast.